so let's discuss how to read pleural effusion and pleural plaques starting with the normal chest x-ray this is how the normal chest x-ray looks like i've discussed this in my earlier video just to revise this the sharp border that you can see is the pleura this is the costophrenic angle which is always very sharp this is the hemidriaphragm below these are the gastric bubbles which are very normal this is the heart this is the trachea here you can see trachea is dividing so this is the carina these are the two lungs this is the clavicle now before getting into pathologies you should always remember how does a normal chest x-ray looks like so now we'll move on to how we'll identify pleural plaques and pleural effusion now it's the basic difference in the x-ray when a person comes with pleural effusion is the pleura now obviously it is pleural effusion so that means the pleura will be affected and as we know there are three kinds of pleural effusion lymphatic transudative and exudative so as you can see here the pleura is becoming slightly hazy you cannot clearly see the borders whereas compared to the normal chest x-ray where you can clearly identify the pleura so this suggests that the person is undergoing pleural effusion and also you can see that the costophrenic angle has slightly become hazy it is not as sharp as it should be suggesting that there is pleural effusion even here in the mediastinum you can see slight haziness around the heart suggesting that it is pleural effusion again here you can see that a lot of part of the lung has been involved in the pleural effusion uh, the pleura has become hazy and also the costophrenic angle of one side of the lung has completely disappeared another example again the pleura is his hazy costophrenic angle becomes hazy so the two main features which help you determine that is it pleural effusion or not is that the pleura first will become hazy it will not be as sharp and clear as it appears in normal x-ray and also the costophrenic angle is will not be as sharp as it is in the normal again you can see this is the ct scan of abdomen here you can see effusion uh, this will appear gray because obviously either it is exudative or transudative it is a fluid so it will allow slightly some light to pass through and some will not giving it this slightly grayish appearance so this is the pleural effusion clearly identifiable now moving on to how to identify pleural plaques now plaques are obviously deposits so you can see here this is the normal pleura lining but here you can see some abnormally deposited materials so this this suggests that this is pleural plaques and obviously they are attached and near to the pleura so they are pleural plaques so major difference in identifying between pleural effusion and pleural plaques is in pleural effusion the membrane sorry the pleura will become hazy and in pleural plaques you will see deposits near the pleura even here you can notice these are the pleural plaques